this uh, I got from Bangor. I think it was somewhere in the beginning of the year after I reviewed the uh, cheap collet set that uh, turned out to be not so cheap after all. There was a lot of uh, run out in the uh, MT2 and uh, MT3 tapered collet shocks that I tested. And I thought this uh, would be a good uh, replacement, especially since a back end plate turned on the old lathe would uh, take out all of the uh, spindle run out. But after inspecting the uh, cards that I got with this uh, chuck, I kind of lost interest. In fact, I uh, developed a serious case of uh, collet phobia. But with the help of a team of dedicated professionals, I've been uh, slowly getting better. And we think it's time I uh, confront my fears and uh, do a review on uh, this chuck. After all, I uh, do owe Banggood a review video, so my apologies to Banggood. I'm sorry it has taken so long to review this product. For now, I will only do a visual review, actually uh, using this and testing for run out will just be too emotional. Besides, I first need to make a uh, back end plate and then there is the fact that I don't have any decent colors. Maybe I'll buy some if you guys uh, buy enough crap through my uh, affiliated links. But to be honest, I don't really have a need for collets at the moment. I've already made decent uh, drill chuck arbors for both my lathes. So what can I uh, say about this thing other than uh, it's painted black? More about that uh, interesting little fact later. It has a 80mm uh, flange and it uh, should fit directly onto certain uh, types of mini lathes. Banggood also sells a 100mm version. Unfortunately not a 120mm uh, version because that would fit my uh, HBM lathe. But uh, those do exist. I've seen them on uh, Amazon I believe. It has a uh, three hole bolt pattern uh, using M6 thread. Personally I would have liked to see M8 but I'm sure it will be fine on the mini lathe. I might drill them out to 8mm and then uh, thread the uh, back end plate. But that's something for a future video. Who knows what I'll decide. Maybe I'll just weld it. There's a hole on the side here where you can uh, stick your rod in to keep the uh, spindle from spinning when tightening up the uh, nut. No rod is provided but uh, if you bought this you'll probably have a uh, lathe so just make one. The machining on this is a lot nicer than on the uh, tapered colored chucks but uh, this area here feels a bit rough. The threads on the other hand are as smooth as silk but that was also the case on the uh, tapered colored chuck. Funny uh, story, when I uh, got the chuck I ran my uh, fingers over the threads here like this and I ended up having to dig out a splinter out of my index finger. Guess it uh, wasn't a very funny story. Granted the uh, threads look good and are a lot nicer than anything I have ever uh, produced but they should have uh, run some uh, scotch bright over those threads. The uh, colored knot seems to be exactly the same as the one that came uh, with those uh, tapered chucks. Almost uh, flawlessly machined. But if you uh, watched uh, my color chuck grinding videos, you know that I've been a bit suspicious about these. And uh, I'm still not over that feeling. Haven't found anything wrong with them though. 
Now about this uh, black matte paint job. Um, everyone knows it's great for uh, masking imperfections. But that's not what I want to talk about. There is some paint in the internal taper here. And that shouldn't be there. And the way the paint looks makes me think it was painted before the taper was turned. The paint also uh, doesn't look the same um, all the way around. And that makes me think the taper might be on a slight uh, angle inside the collet chuck. And I guess these things can happen when you have to take the, the part out of the lathe to do some uh, painting. Or uh, is it masking? Taking another cut to remove the paint wasn't really an option because uh, the front of the opening is already oversized. It's uh, slightly bigger than 32.5 mm. It should be 32. And reseating the chuck, removing a bit of the front, and uh, cutting a new taper is probably also not an option because the thread on here is now probably concentric with the uh, current slightly angled taper. Now these are uh, mostly uh, assumptions based on uh, some paint patterns. Um, these uh, should be proven with uh, known good colors and a dial indicator. So I propose uh, you guys buy uh, loads of these uh, colors through the affiliated links in the description below the video so I can buy some known good calls and bring you the uh, undisputed proof video. I can tell you I have a bad feeling about this chuck and based solely on the size of the front opening it should have been in the rejects pile. And uh, talking about rejects based on my own experience and on uh, comments from others I now believe the uh, stories that some parties are selling rejected collets and uh, chucks on the international market. It's hard to prove and uh, even harder to believe but uh, if large uh, resellers like Banggood are knowingly participating in these uh, practices then that's uh, just borderline criminal. But hey, in uh, China they probably have a different view about what's uh, criminal and what's not. A sale is a sale and uh, damn the consequences. If I was you, I would stay away from cheap Chinese uh, collets before you end up with uh, collet phobia, just like me. A rare and hard to treat disease and uh, not covered by any insurance policy. Now as a part of my treatment and uh, to bolster my immune system, I will make a back and plate for this uh, collet shock. I do like the uh, design unlike a uh, more stable uh, color shock. This one uh, does allow you to use a uh, spindle through hole for a uh, stock material and if it uh, does turn out useless like I uh, expect it will I am going to make my own uh, color shock if I can find some uh, decent scraptonium. Well that's it for now to be continued.